Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela and today I'm bringing you a US special editions book haul. If you watch my channel regularly you will know that I do have a subscription service with the bookish box as well as Arcane Society and Mystic Box which are all US based subscription services. I also buy the odd special edition from the US and as some of these companies do not ship to the UK I get them shipped to a warehouse in the US over the course of six to eight weeks and then I get them shipped over here. So I've been waiting a while for these. I have been eagerly waiting for this first book to arrive and it is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros which has gone absolutely crazy on the internet. Everyone is talking about this book. It's got a lot of very high reviews and I'm pretty sure they were having stock issues in the US. The reason I ordered this from the US is because the first editions had these wonderful spread edges and I wasn't sure if I was actually going to get them because I placed this order and I think within a day of me placing this order people were saying that the first editions had all sold out and that you could no longer get the stenciled edges. This has been sat in a warehouse. I haven't known whether I got the spread edges or not but I now know <laughs> that I did. <laughs> I'm really happy I got the spread edges which I have been displaying edges out because I love the little dragons. Unknowingly the US have not done a stenciled edge for the sequel however Waterstones has done a digital edge but it sold out within hours of them announcing it and I missed that also. I did also pre-order the German edition. Why? Why would you order a book you can't read Danielle? <laughs> This has spread edges, which are lovely. Top, bottom, sides, lovely spread edges. But that is not why I ordered this book. It has a lovely map inside as well. Again, not why I ordered this edition. I cannot read this edition because it is in German. But I plan on displaying this edition. This is the hardcover case under the dust jacket on the German first edition. Look at this badass dragon. The plan is to have this on the shelf facing forward like this and then spread edges out for this one. Now we've got fourth wing out of the way, we can move on. I have seen the covers of these, I've already peeked, but I haven't opened them up and gone inside yet, so I'm really excited. Arcane Society have done the Broken Bond series by Jay Bree, and this is the first book. It has this beautiful character artwork on, and then the reverse has the same person, but different. We also have the second book, which came in the subscription box, which has this character on the back. I'm very intrigued by the black eyes. They have done an add-on to get the rest of the series. They will line up along the spine and then we have digitally spread edges of the flowers. Flowers on the end papers. We have the naked hardbacks. The spines on the normal book are absolutely beautiful. And then a quote on the back. And then it also has a reverse dust jacket design which seems to mimic what is on the hardback. So if you want a more colourful palette, we have the green for the second book. We have purple for the first book. So again, beautiful purple foiling on that one. And then the reverse dust jacket mimics that with the purple. I have also ordered the bookish box edition of this series because the artwork was just gorgeous again and on top of that I'm pretty sure Arcane Society have said they're doing another set of dust jackets with the original artist that they plan to do the dust jackets. I think both these next sets are mystic box. There were some delays. This is the Amo Jones set that they have done. I'm not sure if this is a duology or if there are more books to come in this series but one of the books is In Peace Lies Havoc. It has like this circus theme, gorgeous edges with acrobats down the edge. It has like this lovely printed design as well as spot foiling on there which is really nice. I think it's the end papers on these are just stunning and the artwork next to the signature page and we also have some character art in the back. This is book two which is In Fury Lies Mischief again with the beautiful edges. I know that the edges got changed because they had an issue with the edges on these which is why they were delayed but I'm so so happy with these and the fact that they picked up on the problem and got the edges redone prior to sending them out is just amazing. More circusy end paper art. I'm not sure if there is an add-on for these or if this is a completed duology. The next set is Raw by Belle Aurora. This one looks quite dark and on the back it says not everyone can be a fairy tale hero. The world needs villains too. We love a good villain. These are spread edges but they look to be slightly foiled. We also have Raw Rebirth. 
I believe these are part of a series. So we have the green edges on this one. I just love their books. They're so beautifully made. Next, we're going back to Bookish Box. I have already looked at this. I've already turned the dust jacket around. <laughs> and we have the Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Roberts. It was the dust jacket art that got me on this one. This is actually the reverse dust jacket. And I love the back. We have sprayed edges with some roses down here. We have some rude artwork that I will not show. And then we have the end papers. This is under the hardcover. It is red with like this black foil. And there is a quote on the back. And then the main cover had this sparkly red foil on. I do prefer the reverse dust jacket on this one. Next, we have a series from Elise Cover that I have forgotten the name of, but it is this series of books with a dance with the Fair Prince and it has this lovely character art, sprayed edges, quote on the back, lovely end papers. We then have the hardcover case which is foiled and we also have reverse dust jacket which has alternative artwork on the back. I think that is my second series of Elise Cover books from Bookish Box, but they're so beautiful. We also have a Duel with the Vampire Lord, which I think is the latest in this series, with the pink edges, beautiful end papers. This one is hand-signed. My other two aren't signed, but they still have the beautiful signature page in, so I'm not sure where Elise Cover is based. But if I ever get a chance to get those signed, that would be nice. We have the foiling on the hard case and the reverse dust jacket art. And I believe this is the first book in the series. We have a deal with the Elf King. Green edges, quote on the back. I love the end paper on this one. The under the dust jacket foil and the reverse dust jacket artwork. I have two more editions from Bookish Box. This one, I, I actually have no idea what this one is about. This is a complete and utter cover buy for me from the Bookish Box. And it is A Wilderness of Stars by Shea Earnshaw. We have this dust jacket and it's cut out. So this is actually on the hardcover. But I just think this is absolutely stunning. And we have sprayed edges, a quart on the back. We have matching end paper and the hardcover book. But the back... I love this. The design on this is stunning. Just saw the first line of the book. This could be a depressing one. Seeing as I have no idea what this book is actually about, let's read the synopsis. It says, if magic lives anywhere, it's in the stars. Vega has lived in the valley her whole life, forbidden by her mother to leave the safety of its borders because of the unknown threat waiting for her in the wilds beyond. But after her mother dies, Vega begins to see stars falling from the sky. It's an omen she can no longer ignore, forcing her to leave the protective boundaries of the valley. People are gravely sick. What Vega keeps to herself is that she is the last astronomer, and she is the only one who carries the knowledge of the stars. Knowledge that could hold the key to the cure. And so when locals spot the tattoo on Vega's neck, chaos erupts as the threats her mother warned her about become all too real. Fearing for her life, Vega is rescued by a girl named Cricket, who leads her to Noah, a boy marked by his own mysterious tattoos. On the run from the men who are hunting her, Vega, Cricket and Noah will set out across the plains in search of the cure the stars speak of. But as the lines between friend and protector begin to blur, Vega must decide whether she will protect the sacred knowledge of the astronomer or if she will risk everything to try to save them all. This definitely sounds like something that would interest me. I'm very glad I picked it up. And the final book is one of the monthly books, but it is Of Shadow and Moonlight by Luna Laurier. I love it when Bookish Rock do their black and white books. The back says, a woman fated to die young, a man cursed to live forever, and a darkness that threatens to destroy everything they love. I just love dark themes in books. It has these lovely digital edges. There is a very subtle printed hardback that you're probably not going to be able to see on camera. And then this beautiful holographic foiling over the top. And then we also have gorgeous artwork on the end papers hand signed by the author oh the dedication <laughs> to my love for showing me that soulmates do exist <laughs> we do also have a reverse dust jacket for this one which has some artwork and some foiled quotes 
I think that is a very good mix of books, lots of romance and enemies to lovers and just stuff for me to get my teeth into. Let me know what you think about these editions in the comments below, have a chat with me and as always if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I